All of a sudden, Jared Koch came down on an ankle, sprained his ankle. He's been out for 10 days. Ramos against Aquino for the opening tap on the tallest player to wear a Hawkeye uniform. Antonio Ramos wins it for Iowa. He's an excellent point guard. That's why the Charlotte Hornets are interested in him. And this Philippine team is a quality all-star team. And Ramos gets his first block as a Hawkeye. That's what he's done well in preseason practice. Does it well in his first game opportunity. And Henderson is blocked from behind by Aquino. He is a direct contract. Usually they get together about three weeks, try to pull players together. This team's been together the better part of three months. And Arvin Yentos hits from the top of the circle. And Iowa is man to man. Aquino takes Ramos in deep, and Ramos is going to be tested by the pivot men for the Philippines. You see Ramos, footwork, not very good, needs to be a little lower. Took him Aquino right to the basket. Good look inside, and the turnaround banked off the glass by Alvin. Possibly In the corner, Lorsman looking for three. Got it. So there, that was the international line. Aquino got caught on the shorter man. Lorsman missed the fadeaway, and the Hawkeyes have the rebound. McCausland for three. Beautiful. And a good look by Dean Oliver. Jakes with an interior pass to Galloway. Now Jakes has trouble in his triple team and loses. And it's because he put the ball on the floor. It's two from a, a runner-up team in Illinois, two from a junior college, and then Duez Henderson, a state championship team. A great opportunity. Oh, no call on attempts. Got to be patient. That's the shot right there. Some people said it was Jake Jakes. He prefers Jacob Jakes full month. They get to play and they go one more week, play next Sunday, play the Sunday after that. Oliver with a chance at a three-point play. He would come in and he's not sure if he should finish, not sure if he should kick out, not sure if he should pull up. It's time to drive, hack across the arm, and gets the finish. Here he looks, a little hesitation, sees the gap. Thursman goes in deep. Now put back by Rucker will go. The rebound taken down by File, the seven foot one performer from the Philippines. Guy has been in position, just has not finished. Needs That's to get a couple of those MVP. to keep the confidence and get it up there. And if Durandus has his third bucket for the Philippines and they lead it by one. And the Hawkeyes come back to regain the lead. Expect them to get a wide open three. Leamfoot on the shot over the zone for three. Okay, he did, bottled up by Ramos. Good job by Ramos to come out on the perimeter player. And Lewisman all the way. Good choice, a look off to range. Here he comes out, defending a man, 12 feet away from the basket. Lewisman with the reach around, and that's the quickness of using three guards. And Louis just goes straight line to the basket. Again, you're watching a basketball team with six freshmen and only two weeks of practice. Good luck wow. to Oliver. Oh, what a decision. Antonio told us today when we said, what's the best part of your game? He thought blocking shots. He said passing. I'm a pretty good passer. And he is right about that. Range in McCausland. Now here's Oliver trying to finish. A nice dish to Range. What a decision there by the freshman to the sophomore, Ramos Oliver. And the Hawkeyes have scored on four of their last possessions. Nice tip, Oliver being able to use his left hand. And the older leader, Michigan State's Mateen Cleaves, here in Iowa, it's Dean Oliver. Got to be. Into the big guy, File, who hits the turnaround. File, a seven foot one, 285 pounder. One of the biggest men in the Philippine Basketball Association. Probably one of the biggest people in the Philippines. He probably is. Good answer by Rucker. What a great position. Louis right there, Ryan Lersman in triple threat position. He can dribble, he can shoot, he can pass, and he's low to the ground. That time, passing opportunity, and Guy Rucker coming across right on the block, gets the score. Philippines scored the first seven since then. I was outscored them 23 to 11, and it is banged in from the perimeter by Olsen Rasella. Rosella on the dribble for the Philippine national team. This is Manessis. And the steal by Rain. Oh, very nice move by Joey Rain. But this was a great defensive effort by Rain. He was deep in the corner, hidden behind two other players. Just takes it, his strength, elevation. See the help position Oliver's going to give inside. Jakes gives help. Jakes was right there, but the ball is put in after the miss by Dumendis. Out of the corner, the shot banged home. A three-pointer by Olsen Rossella. 
But this is what you expect to see from a national team like the Philippines. The man floated to the corner away from the offense, and that's what you like to do, go the opposite way, and Guy getting that ball low, he cannot do that. That's what he can do. Yes, he can, as he pops it in over the outstretched arm of Andy Siegel. Good look for Rucker, and Guy Rucker with three baskets in the first half for the Hawkeyes. Back, I'd say, for 20 minutes, the Hawkeyes have played with a good amount of poise for such a young basketball team. They really have. Shot clock, no factor. You look at the game clock. Lursman. A scrap of the rebound. Range comes up with it at the horn and scores it. And well, they're going to count it, I believe. And they do. So Joey Range debuts impressively with a nine point first half. Watch the red light behind the basket. It's on the bracket base. See if it's on. It is on. On that note, we will go to break. It's a 12-point lead for the Hawkeyes at the halftime of this exhibition opener. The national team also back to their starters, and that's Johnny Arbientos with the ball. The outstanding point guard really limited his playing time in the first half because of foul problems, but he quickly creates a bucket to start the second half. McCausman, open, fires at home. Anderson almost knocked it down. Here's Aquino taking it to the hole. And again, unselfish play. I, I'm, I'm just loving it, Larry. Right? And, and that's one of those things that never shows up on statistics, but it shows up on how well people really like each other. But Coslin bangs at home. That hey. time he was on the line. That's only a two, but he'll take it. Two years ago, was 16th in the country and second in the conference last year. There's Ramos in deep with a sweeping left-hander. <laughs> he did that in the black and gold shootout. Everybody said it. Fake pass by Henderson, and then he bounce passes it in. And just a little scoop shot. Ramos had a De La Salle high in Minneapolis. He played his last two years there after arriving in his junior year as a foreign exchange student. Oliver, coast to coast. Get it. Slippery as oil right there. Needs to look for the kick a little bit more because, again, he's got excellent perimeter shooters in Galloway, McCoslin, and Lewis. Patrimonio on the turnaround. Iowa lead 14 at 47 to 33. Go. Oh. Ah. Range misses on the spin back. Jacob Jakes is there to put it back through. He says, I gotta watch myself in practice so I don't get my teammates mad at me. Because he loves the women come at you with elbows, pushing, shoving, grabbing. Narendra's on the miss. He was hot in the first half for the Philippines. Rucker scores, count it. And he will go to the free throw line. And then, as you'll see, Oliver drive it through people. The little give to Lursman. Lursman bounces along the baseline, knowing Guy Rucker. You can tell the Philippine team is well coached. They just have not hit shots. And now, as I say it, Alan Kaidic does. And they've got balance again, where they can get a lot of different players in there fresh to play man to man. Durimdis pulls up to take the three. Alfaro oh, got sealed that time. Kaidic now Arbamientos with the ball. Really an outstanding point guard. Kaidic over Oliver. Bullseye and count it, and he is fouled. And they're cutting deeper into the Iowa lead, making sure we're patient at both ends. Oliver flashes across, say so he caught the wrist. He's got five, and the margin is down to eight. It was 19 a moment ago. The guy Rucker was wide open. And that's going to go down. Wide open. See how wide open he is? I mean, nobody's there. He had time to take telephone numbers, addresses. The senior this year is already committed to Ohio State. Brent Darby, so very talented team. Rucker on the follow. Rucker once again for the putback. Guy Rucker kept after it. That is six rebounds for Rucker to go along with his 14 points. Rushman buries it. Professional players. A steal almost by range. And nobody at that point steps in the lane. It's Arbimientos with the ball there. Oh 
Good penetration by Patrimonio. A post up that time on Kemp McCos McCoslin taking, defending his man one-on-one -on -one and doing a good job of isolation, the Philippine team. Hawks try to pad an 11 point lead. And now you can see the patients getting into the office. And Jacob Jukes with the three. He was a big scorer last year at Marshalltown. Got 17 points a game, averaged 10 rebounds a game for a team that was 29 and 5. Arbimientos puts it down for the Philippine national team. Good defensive rotation, though. The double team, and they get to the other side. Range for three. Range with three. But I'll tell you what happened. Range made the three and then turned around and talked to the defender and wasn't in position when the press started. And all of a sudden, you could have an opportunity to put the press on, and Range was not there in position. Jake's playing good fundamental defense, arms up, flagged it down, Workman tries to finish, Rucker does finish. 18 for Rucker on the Hawkeyes, blown a 73 to 56 lead. Two minutes ago, Iowa's lead was 11, but they went on a nine point run and have now built the lead to 73 to 56, but just under four to play. Aquino underneath against Rucker, Rucker with a block. Aquino wants to try it again, gets Rucker into the air, and scores it. He just has a nose for the ball, but he's got to be patient. Oh, it's Oliver, that's an Oliver twist. Yes, oh, <laughs> you oh, said oh. that right. 15 for Dean, and the Hawkeyes lead at 75 to 58. Next time the ball is dead, you're gonna see five new Hawkeyes on the floor. Arbimientos pulls up and scores it. A three by Arbimientos. Hey, and the second leading rebounder. Rebholz in deep. We'll try it again. Mike Rebholz. Less than a minute to go. The Hawkeyes, an impressive exhibition victory. They won by a lot wider margin last year against the Venezuela national team, Mac, but they played a much better team today. Well, this is the, probably the best coach team we have seen come from a foreign country in several years. And to see why they would be able to play as well as they do and win the Jones Cup over there. Like I said, I've just been surprised they haven't shot the ball better than they have. Defensively, they've done a good job. Iowa hasn't gotten easy baskets. They haven't gotten to the rack, except for Oliver with his quickness. And Jason Price said. And I do love the mark to play in. It yeah. can get loud. You get eight, 9,000 people in there. It gets loud. In and out for Coronas, and the ball game is over, and the Iowa Hawkeyes have put a 20-point victory on the board on this exhibition opener. Iowa trailed early 7-0, but then took command and really never gave it back, and Tom Davis, I'm sure telling Tim Cohen, your team came in well-dosed today and provided the kind of test that I was looking for for my young basketball team.